The search for survivors began in daylight, but went on into the night. It was an operation carried out in difficult conditions. Earlier this morning, it was confirmed that two bodies have now been found. Fifteen people were rescued from the water and taken to Shetland. Wearing yellow survival suits, these men were brought ashore, some more injured than others. One of the survivors spoke to their mother from hospital. He said it, it, it seemed to lose power and um, th there was no time to brace. They just, just dropped into the sea. And he was by the window, so he was able to um, escape that way as it rolled over. The helicopter was operated by the company CHC. It took off from the Borgston Dolphin oil platform in the North Sea. It was en route to an airport in the Shetland Islands, but crashed around two miles off the coast. Not long afterwards, a ferry was diverted to try and help. There's uh, a few waves here and there, and the mist has actually come, come down quite a lot. Just now it's starting to get quite dark, and I think it'll be it's looking pretty difficult to try and find anyone. This is the fourth incident involving a Super Puma helicopter in as many years. In the past, there have been problems with its main gearbox. In 2009, 16 people died after a crash near Peterhead. In 2012, 14 people had to be rescued when a newer model ditched off the coast of Aberdeen. And in October last year, 19 people were pulled from the water when the same model plunged into the North Sea. The cause of this incident will now be examined by the Department of Transport's Air Accidents Team. Stephen Douglas, Sky News.